are you buying Robux or redeeming a gift card soon? Well, use code MEGANPLAYS while doing so to help support the channel. In today's Roblox Adami video, we take a look at some of the brand new Halloween pets that could possibly be coming to Adami. Today, I caught up some really insane, awesome pets that you guys are going to absolutely love. Watch all the way to the end to see what could possibly be coming to Adopt Me very, very soon. But before we get into it, do not forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and use our code MEGANPLAYS when purchasing Robux. Hey, what is up, you guys? It's Megan. Welcome back to my channel, PG Squad. Today, I am so excited because we are concepting some new pets for Adopt Me. Yes, I am super excited. You guys love these videos, and I thought it's been a while since I've done one, so why not bring it back to Photoshop and create ourselves some new Adopt Me pets? Because I don't know if any pets have been announced at this point. Today, I am filming this. It's 1014. Show the video proof, Tyson because it always seems that I make one of these videos and then literally right after that, Adopt Me like announces something. So for the proof, see, four hours ago, four hours ago, uh, October 14th. So that's where we are today. So I saw this tweet from Honey the Unicorn. Hello at Play Adopt Me. I have some Halloween pet suggestions. Zombie Red Panda, Evil Giraffe, and Skeleton Dragon. Like this tweet if you want to see these pets be added. Thank you. So today I thought I would make those pets become a... So today I thought I would make those pets be... So today I thought I would make those pets become a reality. I am having so much trouble. It's like 8 p.m. I'm sleepy. I've been recording all day, but here we are in Photoshop with our lovely giraffe, red panda, and shadow dragon. Of course, they all have watermarks on them because you sneaky guys. You guys just love, love to steal my pets and then not give me credit, which I don't particularly mind, but at this point I was like, you know what? I can do something about it. So here we are doing something about it. So let's get rock and rolling. The first thing I wanna do is start with the red panda, a zombie red panda, guys. Of course, the first thing we're gonna have to do is make it, eat, make it um green. Like it's kind of like toxic wasty. And not that I completely mind it. It's just, you know, it's kind of a lot. So actually I'm gonna click cancel. I'm gonna duplicate this. And then we're gonna make this layer the color that I'm thinking. Like, so we'll, we'll get the green out. Like maybe this is one that has to be like just a little bit special. So. We'll We'll do green and then we'll do purple. That's kind of zombie-ish to me, right? Or am I wrong? Am I wrong? You guys are probably like, Megan, you stupid. Zombies are like kind of usually covered in like blood, right? Oh, I'm not gonna do that. So obviously this looks super messy. Um, don't stress though, I always have a plan. It's looking, it's looking a little better. We got some blending to do. We gotta make them like be friends, right? Like they're just, they're not blending in a way that I find to be harmonious. Kinda do that little number, kinda, kinda do this little number right here. Bring the ears just down a little bit. <gasps> Cute! Okay, so now we'll put back on the hue and see what that looks like. I hate it! I hate it, I hate it. Oh, that's that's a little better. So it just we just needed a little bit of a cleanup, guys. So far, so good. This is what I picture this to look like. And of course, we're gonna have to add like some brains or like a rib cage to it. Like it can't just be this. Like this just can't be it. That would be so lazy. I'm gonna type in cartoon brain to Google. I don't recommend doing this. Actually, it's not too bad. I still don't recommend doing it. Like don't do it and then be like, ah, oh, brains. <laughs> so we're gonna pop, pop, pop that bad boy right up here where this thing's brain lives. Oh, I'm so grossed out already. Okay, let's actually merge these two together. We'll put this here like this. And now this is the part where we get to carve out the brain. So I say we also remove a piece of ear from this little guy, like his ear, he got in a fight maybe. And now part of his ear is gone. It happens, it happens to the best of us. And then, like I said, we gotta, we gotta pull out his brain a little bit. We, gotta, we can make it like kind of spiky, like, ooh, he's got an exposed brain. Wait, then that just like kind of erases his whole ear. Like maybe we put it like right here like this, kind of make it like jaggedy like that. What does this look like? I don't know how I'm feeling about it. Okay, so then we'll add a drop shadow right here like this. Put it pointing up like this. Put the distance down. Make it kind of like this, but we don't want the, we don't want it everywhere. So let's duplicate this layer. This is getting just really intense. We'll do also, um, like I said, drop shadow. Okay, so now that we have that, we're gonna um, rasterize it. Then we'll erase everywhere we don't want the shadow. And then, guys, 
And then this is about to be really lazy. Just cover up one of his eyes like this. I like the way that looks. Okay, so the zombie, the zombie guy is coming along. But lastly, I think his feet need to be green. Like, I'm just not so sure. Or maybe his feet will be purple because I don't want him to blend into the ground I have here. So let's go ahead and see if we can execute that. Ooh, we can even make him like a little darker. Oh my goodness, guys. The zombie red panda. That looks so cute. Okay, I love that. I'm actually very proud of this one. I like it a lot. Okay, so his brain's out. He's got an X over one of his eyes, and he's green and zombie-ish. And then also for feeling really creative, I'm not very good at drawing, but like you can add like a rib cage here. This is just kind of like a little bit of a concept. I'm not gonna be able to actually hollow this guy out, but you guys could imagine. But it's not gonna stay a part of the final design. Next. Next up, the evil giraffe. I already know what I'm gonna do for this. And if it's not obvious, it will be soon. So let's make it saturated. Let's turn this puppy red, like red, red. And then I wanna take his dots. We gotta select them all like this. One eternity later. That took a while to get where I wanted to be with this, but here we are. It's no problem. Let's do, um, like maybe we can make the spots black. I forgot one of them. How did I still forget one of them? Now, do I think that Adopt Me would bring back the giraffe? No. So don't get your hopes up for this one, because I think it'd be really cool. But I am not the one who made Adopt Me, so I can't. I can't be like, you know what, let's bring that back. Because I feel like a lot of players would actually get really mad if they brought this guy back. Personally, I know I would be stocking up. Okay, I think that's looking a little bit better. You know, he's a little bit more evil. <gasps> um, as for his eyes, I kind of have an idea, but like, it's really nothing fancy, right? Like, I just, all the eyes on all the Adopt Me pets always end up looking kind of the same. <gasps> he's evil, look at him, oh no. So as we can see, he's just a little evil. He's just a little annoyed. Oh my goodness, guys, the evil giraffe. What else could we add that would make him evil? Oh, I know, his horns could be black too. Like they're basically like little devil horns. He's evil and he's angry. He's red and he's angry and he's not come to play. I don't know what else you could add. I think it'd be really cool if whenever he ran around, if like he had flames. Eh? Yeah? Pretty cool. Pretty cool if you ask me. Oh my goodness. Evil giraffe. And up last, we have the skeleton dragon. Now, I'm not gonna be too good at this. I was kind of thinking about how I wanted to tackle this, and I thought it'd be a good idea to, of course, just make this guy like kind of skeleton like. So let's just cut this out. Kind of like a cop out. I think a ghost dragon would be cool. Like, like I said, like I I don't know if a dummy's like skeleton dragon. We were just kind of speculating because it said like you hear bones cackling in the distance. So maybe this would be like a boned dragon. You guys know? And look at this. Like, I mean, the shadow dragon's rib cage is already exposed. So I don't really know what else like they would do. Of course the frost dragon and the shadow dragon have like different uh, models. Like they're not the same model. Like these things up here, like that's not what the shadow dragon has. So who knows? We could even see like kind of like more of a like funky looking model, right? Like I'm like scratching my head cause I'm like, I don't even know what the plan was here. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and adjust his color because obviously I think if it's a skeleton dragon, it's not going to be a color we already have. I think it's gonna be image adjustment black and white. I think if we can find like one that's like mostly white, like look at that guys, imagine if it was like a cool, like a cool, like cool toned. Let's erase some of the stuff that I have like no idea what it is. One of his wings can just be missing. We'll grab this, we'll paste this, we'll flip horizontal, uh, flip, flip vertical, put this back here like this. And all of a sudden, kind of making a little bit more sense, right? No, yes. And then we have to make, make it more bone-like. So it's like, maybe like he has like, I say like a lot, I'm so sorry. And now that I've pointed it out, if you didn't notice, you're definitely gonna notice. Like, that's not a bone, that's, just, that's not what a bone looks like. Ooh, yeah, okay, so we just made him way more white. And that's looking a little bit more better. Now imagine if his eye was like um, a really glowy, Purple. We'll make his eyes black because that's kind of more skeleton like, right? And then even like maybe his like mouth 
is like kind of scary and black. Like he's a skeleton. Oh my gosh, guys, what if he has like smoke coming off of him like this? Like, obviously this doesn't look too great, but like imagine. And then let's get the eraser out. Now he's like smoking all over the place. I like it. I don't know. I don't think it's too bad. It's, it's a lot. <laughs> and there it is, guys. Here we have the Halloween pets for the new Roblox Adopt Me Halloween update. Guys, if you loved today's video, please do not forget to hit the like button, subscribe button, and leave a comment down below. I always have so much fun making these designs, and if you guys love them too, make sure you let me know by just, like I said, leaving a comment down below. If you want to use these for thumbnails, go for it. Do whatever you want. I really don't mind. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to hashtag stay peachy, stay kind, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Love you. Bye.